Hi everybody, this is Emily from the NetZoom team. Because data centers often include hundreds of devices and racks along with users, connectivity, and countless other records, implementing your DSIM solution can be a daunting task. NetZoom makes implementation easy by allowing you to create simple Excel spreadsheets just like this one to import data into your data center. First, let's look at one of our sample import spreadsheets. Each import has required fields using the column headings. These required fields vary based on the type of import you are performing. In addition to the required columns, NetZoom gives you the ability to add custom data along with the required data. Today, we'll be importing a site layout, a row of racks, connectivity, and a few users into our data center. As you can see, our spreadsheet has rows for the site layout, including the plot, building, levels, and even rooms. Please be aware that your sheet must be properly named. So, for example, this sheet must be named Site Layout with a capital S, capital L, and no space in between, or else your import will not work. First, let's log into NetZoom. Enter your NetZoom application server URL in the web browser. Then enter your username and password. Now we could just go over to our import features right away, but first I'm going to switch sites to TDC, Tertiary Data Center. Navigate to the Data Center feature. Now you can see that we currently have a site with no layout, no devices, and no connectivity. Now we're going to navigate to the Data Center Import feature. This is found under Tools in the Administration menu. As you can see, there's a group of features called Implementation Imports. These features are only available to enterprise level users and are used to mass import data into your data center. Select the data center imports feature and click the browse button. Then a search window will pop up. Search for the spreadsheet you want to import, in this case our layout spreadsheet, and click the next button. This green check mark means that there were no errors found in our spreadsheet and you can double check the data yourself if you wish. Click the import button and your data center layout will import. All right, our import is complete. So we'll navigate over to the data center feature again. As you can see, our data center now has a complete layout, including plot, building, and even rooms and logical locations. Now it's time to import our device models. As you can see, we also have a spreadsheet here containing two racks, as well as the devices installed on those racks. This will not only place the hardware in the right place on the racks and in the data center, but will also automatically create rack elevations for these racks. We'll import these racks the same way we imported our layout, using the data center imports feature. We'll uncheck Site Layout since we've already imported it. And since the data looks good, we'll click Import. This import should only take a couple minutes, but we'll skip ahead in the interest of time. Now that our import is finished, we can go back to the Data Center menu. And as you can see, we now have two racks in our data center. Now let's look at our connectivity import sheet. You can see that the connectivity import sheet shows each connection along with the assets and ports that are connected. We'll follow the same steps, but this time using the Import Connectivity feature. Now that our connectivity import is done, we navigate back to the Data Center feature, and we can see that we now have full connectivity between devices. Finally, let's look at the User Import Sheet we saw at the beginning of this video. We're going to import this one using the Settings and Configuration Import feature. This feature uses the same controls as the other import features. As you can see in the Users feature, the new users have also been added to NetZoom. You can populate almost all NetZoom elements by using these imports, including hardware assets, users, roles, facility layouts, rack elevations, and even hardware models. For a full list of importable items, check out the Implementation through Automation section of our User Guide. That covers the basics of implementation by import in NetZoom. We will cover creating import sheets in another video. Please check out our other videos for more tips on how to use the NetZoom product. 
And if you're interested in trying out NetZoom for your own data center, visit netzoom.com to schedule a free demo.